Now that remote test of the week, and uh, this week I'll be testing another one of these uh, drone racing motors. Um, this one seems uh, pretty crazy actually. Um, I managed to get one of these when it was on uh, sale a few weeks ago, um, but it's gone back up to full price now. Uh, but it's a multi star, multi -star Viking uh, 2208 2600 kV motor and it seems uh, alright um, comes in a nice box and it seems alright it's a bright, nice bright green colour <laughs> um, and it's uh, yeah, counterclockwise so it's got a reverse thread on it um, let's have a look down at the specs right what's the specs um, it says it take a max power of 630 watts at 39 amps which is crazy uh, for a motor that supposedly weighs 25 grams um, so I thought I'd give one of these a try I thought it was pretty crazy specs um, so I thought I'd give it a go um, not much else really to uh, to say on here it's a 12 n 14 pole motor um, so yeah it's quite a high pole count on there so I'm going to be running it on a AE Turnigy uh, well uh, was it AE series ESC um, I've got a 65 amp one it's a bit high but um, that'll do for testing um, maybe I can uh, yeah it's all changed now this uh, Hobby King site so um, yeah it's a bit uh, I don't know it was menus and then sub menus and stuff and it's I don't know it's a bit a bit crazy um, right yeah this, these are the, this is the ESC I'm going to use um, you get the AE ones and uh, it's got a lot better programming um, in it for high pole motors so um, basically it's they, they just run a lot smoother and uh, a bit more efficient so um, anyway let's uh, get the motor on the thrust stand and uh, give it a test okay Alright, uh, the first prop I'm going to try on this motor is an APC 5x5 electric prop. And I'm first going to test it on a 3 cell. And this is a 2250 mAh 25C 3 cell. So Rhino pack. Right, so let's have a look what thrust we get. Amps, 314 watts. So that's pretty much half of what is it this motor can take. So uh, let's give it a try on the 4S pack. Okay, so still with the same prop, uh, but I've switched to a 1800 milliamp 35C 4 cell. So it's a uh, See what we get on four cell. It's not bad. Ooh, good. That's a bit over though. <laughs> mm, I made that a bit warm. Bad. That was, well, that was that was a very quick burst. All right, so uh, let's try another prop. 
Okay, here we are. This is a TGS 5x5. Um, and I'm back on the 3 cell. Uh, probably should have started off with slightly smaller props, really, but let's see what we get on the 3 cell. <laughs> Sounded a lot better. Put that props a lot better balanced. Only uh, 24 amps, 271 watts. Right, so let's uh, try that on the 4S. Okay, still with the 5x5 TGS. And I'm on the 4 cell. So uh, let's see what we get here. Crikey. <laughs> Forty amps, but Twelve watts. So I'm not sure if their uh, calculations are quite right. Because <coughs> I mean that's not a bad voltage drop, but um, 630 watts at 39 amps. I don't think that's quite correct, really. Um, yeah, seems right. So. Give it another run. That's pretty damn good, that is. <laughs> so I think that's probably, yeah. Uh, Best prop you can try on four cell. I've uh, got a few more other props to try. Let's give them a go. Okay, this is a Dow prop 4045 three bladed prop. It's a ball, ball nose one. Uh, I'm just going to test it first on the three cell. Pretty good. It's not drawing a lot of current either. <laughs> well, okay, I've swapped over to the 1800 milliamp full cell. Still on the three blade ball nose prop. Switch this light on. There you go. I mean, that was pretty good. Such a little prop. Blimey. So I think that. That ball nose three bladed prop that works pretty well on that motor. Yep, I'd say uh, I'd say that one's pretty good. That one gets a thumbs up from me. Right, let's try another prop. Okay, this is a TGS 4.5 by 4.5 sport prop. <clears throat> I thought I'd just give this a quick go on the four cell. Uh, no point trying it on three cell, it's a bit small. I thought I'd be interesting just to give, give us a quick go on four cell. Blimey. <coughs> so 
there wasn't that much difference between that and the 5x5 so um, leads me to believe the 5x5 wasn't winding up quite properly um, that seems nice and efficient that one that was about the same as the three blade ball nose hmm nice right uh, I've got another prop to try okay I thought I'd try a Hobby King 5x4 three bladed prop and I'm on the three cell so this is on 3S <laughs> noise there. Oh. That was interesting. That was quite pretty good thrust there. Not too high amperage, so I think, uh, yeah, I think I'll give it a quick try on the four cell. Right, this might be a bit dodgy. Um, put it on the 1800 milliamp full cell. Probably should put my fiberglass glass shield on, but let's give it a go without it. up slowly then I was worried that prop was gonna snap but it didn't wow so that's the best yet <laughs> so I think I think this motor quite likes three bladed props just uh the old temperature gauge. Ooh, it's a bit high, that. Forty-three degrees there. Hmm. It's getting a bit warm. That's getting very warm. Hmm. Not quite. Not so sure this can take the power it says, but. I mean, it seems right at the moment, but it is getting warm. But remember, it's got no, it's got no air rushing over it. So, hmm. All right. Let's see what uh, is a good prop to run on three cell. Okay, this is a TGS six by four. Um, I'm only gonna, only gonna be running it on three cell. I'm, I'm guessing that this won't be able to take running this prop on 4 cell but let's see what thrust we get on 3 cell Ooh, switch the light on there we go that's pretty good Just under 32 amps. So call it 32 amps. And 356 watts. That's not bad. Alright, let's shove another prop on there. Okay, this is a Gem Fan 6030 prop. And I'm still just on the 3 cell. So let's see what we get here. Any draw in 24 amps. Huh. 
280 watts. I'm tempted to stick the force in on there. I think that might be a bit too much on the four cell. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, I think I'll call it quits there. Um, yeah, so it's not bad this motor. Um, seems to like the three bladed props and uh, maybe the slightly smaller props. I think the 5x5 five five weren't bad. Um, if you need to fit a smaller one, then the TGS 4.5 by 4.5 was pretty good. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's this motor test of the week on the uh, Multistar Viking motor. If you like this video, please give us a like. And uh, if you haven't been here before, subscribe. And I've got more motor tests to come, and you can see all my old ones as well. So, uh, yeah, click that little subscribe button and uh, join the join the madness of Motor Test of the Week. All right, see you then. Bye bye.